Today, we're uncovering some of the most shocking revelations made by Hallmark actors. Brace yourself because you are not prepared for this. Let's start with the one and only crush of this century, Tyler Hines. This Canadian actor, director, and writer has been making waves in the entertainment industry for quite some time now. Tyler was born on May 6, 1986 in the great city of Toronto and has been in the industry for over two decades. That's right, he's been killing it since a really young age. Tyler officially began his career in the industry in the early 2000s when he starred in a television series including Goosebumps and Kung Fu The Legend Continues. But when did he actually start? In an interview, he revealed a shocking fact about getting started. Spoiler, he fell in love with a girl when he was seven years old at a camp. How cute is that? For a play that they were doing at this theater company. Did that play, booked that job, worked for six months or something doing this live play, A Christmas Carol in Toronto. Nice. Something I had never done or cared about. My brother wanted to be an actor. I was the kid who was... Talk about great luck and acting skills. He then went on to star in a number of films like The Mountain and The Unquiet. Tyler's talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of the industry, and soon he was working with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. It wasn't until 2011 that Tyler landed his first role in a Hallmark production in the TV movie Desperately Seeking Santa. That was his first movie in Hallmark, and he made it big since that day. He then went on to star in several more Hallmark movies like The Mistletoe Inn, it's Christmas Eve, and The Wedding March. Tyler's performances in these movies were well received by audiences, and he quickly became a fan favorite. In addition to his acting work, Tyler has also written and directed a number of projects. He wrote and directed the film The Barons in 2012, and he directed episodes of the TV series Private Eyes in 2019. Tyler's work has not gone unnoticed, and he has been nominated for and won several awards throughout his career. In 2012, he won the award for Best Director at the Blood in the Snow Canadian Film Festival for The Barons. Who knew he'd be just as good as a director? In 2018, he was nominated for a Canadian Screen Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Continuing Leading Dramatic Role for his work on the TV series Letter Kenny. Seeing what he has grown into now, we are glad that he auditioned for that play. His talent and hard work have earned him a spot in the hearts of audiences worldwide. Whether he's acting, writing, or directing, Tyler always gives us his best, and we can't wait to see what he does next. Up next is another Canadian actor who's been captivating audiences with his performance for over two decades as well. Born on June 22, 1979 in the beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia, Paul Campbell has left an undeniable mark in the world of entertainment. Paul's journey to Hallmark began with his work in various TV series and films. He made appearances in popular shows like The Dead Zone and Battlestar Galactica, and even had some memorable roles in films like Final Destination 3 and 8 Below. It didn't take long for Paul's undeniable talent and charm to catch the attention of the big shots in the industry. In 2008, Paul got his first taste of Hallmark magic when he started in the movie Night Moves. That experience opened the door to a series of fantastic Hallmark productions that followed, from Window Wonderland to Surprised by Love and A Godwin Christmas. Paul has become a beloved fixture in the Hallmark universe. His performances have consistently brought joy and laughter to us, cementing his status as a fan favorite. But Paul's skills extend beyond acting alone. He has also dabbled in writing and directing. In fact, he wrote and directed the 2009 film Play the Game and lent his directing talents to TV series like Spun Out and The Disappearance. It's clear that Paul is a multi-talented force in the industry, but someone clearly inspired him a lot and he worships him. Can you guess who it is? He is only one of the most legendary actors in Hollywood. Take a look at this. A cop to being a nerd about anything, it's Ghostbusters. And for me, B Bill Murray, I mean, everybody in that movie was extraordinary, but Bill Murray, has been my acting inspiration for my entire life and and largely because of that performance when it comes to inspiration paul openly expressed his admiration for the legendary bill murray he sees murray as a beacon of versatility seamlessly transitioning between comedy and drama with ease taking a page from murray's book paul strives to embody that same level of versatility in his own performances he aspires to captivate audiences with his ability to evoke laughter one moment and touch their hearts the next in recognition of his talent, Paul Campbell has received accolades throughout his career. In 2007, he was honored with the Leo Award for Best Performance by a Mel in a short drama for his work in 
The Thaw. Furthermore, in 2010, he earned a nomination for a Canadian Comedy Award for Best Writing in a Film for his contribution to Dad's Home. With his infectious charm and impressive range as an actor, writer, and director, he continues to win the hearts of audiences around the world. Inspired by the legendary Bill Murray, Paul's start to power is sure to shine even brighter in the years to come. And if you want to help us shine even brighter, hit that subscribe button. Did you know that 95% of our viewers are not currently subscribed to our channel? So please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying today's video so we can continue making more. Now back to today's video. Let's now dive into the world of the charismatic Andrew Walker, another Canadian actor who's become a familiar face in the Hallmark universe. Andrew's journey to Hallmark began with his work in various TV series and films as well. He started his acting career in the late 90s and gradually made a name for himself with his undeniable talent and good looks, of course. Andrew's charm caught the attention of the Hallmark Channel, and he soon found himself starring in a number of their movies, from romantic comedies like Bridal Wave and Love and Design, to heartwarming holiday films like Snowed In Christmas and Christmas On My Mind. Andrew has become a fan favorite in the Hallmark world. His on-screen charisma and chemistry with his co-stars make his performances a delight to watch. But let's rewind a bit and talk about Andrew's mischievous high school days. During interviews, he has shared some surprising stories from his youth that would make anyone do a double take. It turns out that Andrew was quite the prankster back in the day. From harmless pranks on his friends to a few more daring escapades, he definitely knew how to keep things interesting. Don't believe me? Take a look at this. I took out a fire hose in my one of the wings of my high school and turned the fire hose on. Uh, school was let out because of that. <gasps> they never, they never, never, never caught me. Um, I ran. <laughs> you um, ran? Oh my gosh! Do you think this was it? Ha! We got a fun one for you. One particularly memorable story he shared involved sneaking into his high school at night with a group of friends and rearranging all the furniture in the principal's office. It was a bold move that definitely raised a few eyebrows the next day. Andrew also confessed to one setting off fireworks inside the school during a talent show, creating quite a spectacle that had everyone talking. While these mischievous acts may not have been the most conventional behavior, they showcase Andrew's adventurous spirit and his ability to bring a sense of fun and excitement to any situation. It's clear that he's always been full of energy and willing to push boundaries both on and off screen. Andrew Walker's journey to Hallmark has been marked by his talent charm and mischievous spirit, which adds an extra layer of excitement to his performances. From his high school antics to his memorable roles in Hallmark movies, he continues to captivate all of us. Whether he's bringing laughter, romance, or a touch of mischief, Andrew's performances are always a delightful treat. Moving on, let's take a moment to appreciate the multifaceted talent of the amazing Danica McKellar. Best known for her role as Winnie Cooper on the show The Wonder Years, Danica has made a name for herself in the Hallmark world as well. Danica's entry into Hallmark came with a string of delightful movies that have won the hearts of audiences. From Crown for Christmas to Matchmaker Mysteries, she has showcased her acting prowess and versatility. Her performances are also charming and endearing, bringing a special touch to every character she portrays. But what sets Danica apart is her hidden genius in mathematics. You heard that right. She is a math whiz, and it's really shocking. I decided to take a math class, and I was so nervous, but I took it anyway because I've always loved a challenge. And I'll tell you something, I scored the highest score on that midterm out of 133 people, like by a lot. <laughs> Was floored. While her on screen presence may steal the spotlight, her off screen achievements are equally impressive. She holds a degree in mathematics from UCLA and has written several books on math, particularly aimed at empowering young girls and promoting their interest in the subject. Her books like Math Doesn't Suck and Girls Get Curves have inspired and educated countless readers. Danica's passion for math and her dedication to empowering others is truly inspiring. I wish I had these math books growing up. She is a role model for young girls who may think that math is intimidating or not for them. Danica proves that intelligence and talent can come in many forms and that it's possible to excel in both the arts and the sciences. Her ability to balance her love for acting and math is a testament to exceptional abilities and serves as an inspiration for aspiring actors and math enthusiasts alike. Up next is a movie that got quite a few people talking. You won't believe how hot this Hallmark movie was. Let's chat about Haul Out the Holly, the charming Hallmark Christmas movie that defies the norm by being shot during the summer season. This unique approach allowed the cast and crew to create a magical winter wonderland in the midst of warm weather. 
take a look at this. Hallmark movie. They're gonna drive me up to the, to the snow, to the ski areas here in Utah. No, we are in sandy Utah. This bottom layer is just to soak up the sweat. It's nothing but sweat from here down. Well, sorry to burst the bubble, guys, but this is what actually goes on. But hey, they managed to pull it off pretty well. To achieve the desired Christmas atmosphere, the production team went all out with decorations. They transformed the sets with festive decor, including twinkling lights, garlands, and a gorgeous tree. The wardrobe department also played their part by dressing the actors in cozy winter attire, complete with boots and scarves. As for the movie, it centers around the story of a single mother named Elle, played by Kendra Lee Timmons, who is a struggling mother trying to provide for her young daughter with the perfect Christmas. A wealthy businessman named Max, played by Anthony Cocheni, offers her a job as a personal shopper for the holiday season. Elle jumps at the opportunity. As she works to make Max's Christmas dreams come true, she realizes that the perfect holiday might be closer than she thinks. The chemistry between Kendra Lee Timmons and Anthony Konechi is palpable on screen, making their performance all the more enjoyable. They're joined by a talented supporting cast that includes names like David Lewis, Christian Converi, and Madison Smith. Despite the challenge of shooting a Christmas movie during the summer, the cast and crew pulled it off. They managed to create an enchanting winter world that transports viewers to a magical place full of holiday cheer. The warm weather did not dampen that spirit on the film, as it still managed to capture the essence of the season with its heartwarming story and festive visuals. Haul Out the Holly is a unique and enjoyable Christmas movie that stands out for being shot in the summer. The talented cast, led by Kendra Lee Timmons and Anthony Konechi, deliver captivating performances that are sure to delight you. The creative approach to bringing the Christmas spirit to life in a warm climate is a testament to the dedication of that production team. If you're looking for a heartwarming and festive film to add to your holiday watch list, be sure to check out Haul Out on the Holly. Well, that's it for today, folks. Which one of these shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, head to our channel for more. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.